Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, okay, I'm going back. Okay, I can't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> You want second or third row of data? Yeah, I'm fine. Barbara? Yeah. It won't be this this month that the uh, I already told um Jim yeah, or Jack Peterson that we're traveling that day. We're going to um to the Greens Committee. And if I get there in time, I'll see if I can zoom in. But I said I hate to miss meetings, but it's been two in a row that we've right. got something going on. Yeah. So where are you gonna be? We're going to Colorado to Montreux. We're going to stay there for, for um, we rented a house for a month. Nice. Are you okay with me there, don't you? Yeah, my parents live on the eastern side of Well, you can zoom in. Is it the same pattern? Yeah. Or, it's right. Yeah. It's uh. Yeah. It's, uh, it's called the banana belt. It's uh warmer in the winter and a little cooler in the summer. There. So it's a nice it's a nice area. I used to live in. Um, so maybe you're in Colorado Springs. Oh, you did? Yeah, my first son was born in Colorado. Yeah. Um, in Garden of the Valley, I used to go up there. It was fun. Well, I didn't know. But I really missed, I missed Minnesota water and lakes. I missed all the lakes. Yeah, well. Yeah. I missed my family. I was homesick. I don't know. <laughs> that was more than anything. I understand that. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm a water guy, too. God was born up in the San Francisco Bay Area, so. You know, my, my parents had boats and yeah. maybe commercial fish, and, and so I like water also. It was, it's, it, I'm used to it now. I know I appreciate the mountains here, but it took me a while to get used to all this brown. Yeah, I know. And, uh, it's ugly. And if I had, if we didn't live on a golf course, like in a golf course community, I don't know. If I, I mean, I drive around and I think, how can people live in these deserted neighborhoods? I'd be like, I don't know. Oh, right. I wouldn't be here. No. I need, to need, I need that color green somewhere. She <laughs> would not be here. She didn't nope. have that to do. No. Nope. I like grass and trees and. No. Yeah. Oh, I don't mind it. I'm good. Which one? No, I was in that last year with people I know. I watched that there. I used to go with chicken and chicken. I don't know, they were pretty strong. I don't know. 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 I don't yeah, I got a 
I don't want to do that dog mm -hmm. back today. No, I feel like you <laughs> <doing that. laughs> well, we are going to the and the Okay, I I think it's I should find this need to know. No. If they can't read that, I can read it without my reading. All right, well, the way Jim's not coming, I'm going to ask the way that somebody who is there sitting down that day. Yeah. <laughs> Dollars, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thing interesting up there. Um, I don't understand it exactly, but I'm sure we're talking about it. I don't know the Yep, there. Yeah, so far. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They need a true up there. Oh, it's like a discussion. Oh. A lot of meetings. It is. You want to find it? We must have four minutes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 
Then I never had any meeting, but it's never asked about this. Like, they find out. You know, who wanted to do that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then we decided we had done things that we were doing in the main streets in those areas. Are we yeah. having a board meeting? Yeah. 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 Is that your board? Yeah. 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 Good afternoon. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Boy, yeah, that was that So, uh, what would you say the top two issues are right now with uh, just citizen patrol? Yeah. Uh, two issues. Yeah, we're still getting a lot of car break ins. That's not very good. Oh, I don't. Uh, yeah, there were several. There uh, are car car night. Night. Was good. Yeah. Yeah, that. We're the Have they ever caught anybody? Ooh. Car break ins? Um, I don't know about the same group. All we do is call. We see oh, yeah. Just, there to observe and report. Yeah. 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 All right. I think it'd be good if we got annexed yeah. by the city or no, 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 <laughs> no. at least not at all. Be more taxes. Yeah, that's right. Not a lot more taxes. Well, let's go through four holes and then I'll oh, be back here. Hey, Larry, how are you? Good. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, hey, Sam. You're looking well. Everything's going all right? Yeah. I, Hi, Sam. I found out how out of shape I was when I got home, but I'm still making sure we are going back. Okay. So we have the house. <laughs> So we're on, so we know, right? It's live. So Sam's yeah. here, huh? Yeah. 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 Oh, really? They got a place or we got a together on the same street. Our family are good friends from the 
Got the relocation center. Started with one, now it's a three. You good? This is all on the side. My kids are in the line. Okay. Let's make it visual. If he's strong, he loved it. Okay. What was there? Oh my God! Oh, like Three oh, Winslow Bird. Oh, the uh, oh. Eagle. Uh, uh, hey, I know we don't have a real secretary. Hey, I did. I did. So, so I so yeah, it's good. It's so again, your grandfather just said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Fill it out. Just put it in that card. She was. 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 She Oh, we won. We did? Yeah, you've got money and get 25 bucks in the uh, pro shop already. Oh, really? Wow. They can say something. You don't have to respond. We were low gross by two and no net by one. You're meeting to order. Let's all stand for the pledge. Um, Larry, go ahead and lead us. Pledge of allegiance to the flag which stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, Dennis. I'm here. Hello. Have a 
uh, can you uh, do the uh, approval for the board meeting minutes? Do you have that information? I'm not exactly sure. I probably do. Hold on. Well, do you have a copy of the agenda? I do. Okay. I'm, look, so I'm looking at make it. A motion, just make a motion to approve those particular minutes and then and then we'll go ahead and get a second and and um, and then we have one thing to add after that. Okay. Okay. I'm I move we accept the the minutes as stated. Okay. Um you want to make a motion to accept the board meeting minutes. Um and it's going to be executive board session minutes April 29th, 2003, executive minutes. Uh, 2000 or two times. Correct. Right. Do you have a mistake now? Correct. <laughs> There's a mistake on there. The first one is general meeting. It's uh, open. Okay. Oh, so that's item three. Okay, I see. Okay, let's do this all over again. All right. Okay. So, so, so you see what I mean? If you so the first uh, one. Yes. It'll be the board meeting. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I, I move that we accept the board meeting minutes, executive session minutes, April 29th, 2023, special board meeting minutes, May 11th, 2023, executive session minutes, April 29th, 2023. I see twice. Uh, the, board executive session meetings, May 9th, uh, uh, session minutes, May 9th, 2020, 2023. And then also a, uh, the general meeting on uh, uh, April 29th, 2023. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then, um, so we have a second? Second. Okay. All favors? Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. All right, and then in executive session on April 29th, 2023, the board made a motion to approve the authorization of a board record notice of default against APN number 661-2630-018. It was approved by zero. Okay, um, so that's it. Next step, member comments? I think that's a mistake. Can an APN number be nine digits? Yes. Yeah, that does an extra think, something in there. I think that's I think that's six six one two six three zero one eight. Okay. I'm almost okay. positive of that because I, I I read it off. Oh, okay. Like, can we confirm it so we can? Get yeah, we need to get the correct one. Otherwise, it's going to do it again next time. How do we confirm that right now so we can put it to rest? <clears throat> okay. Go ahead. Go to member yeah. comments. Okay, let's do member comments. Okay. So, um, I have two member comment cards here. You guys want me to read the names or you just want me to read the comments? Yeah, whatever. Okay. So this comment is from Peggy Baxter. She says, please post the board of director minutes on the website. Nothing is posted since February of 2023. Thank you. All right. This next comment is from Shelly Bailey. And she would like for us to announce the outcome of the 8921 Kirkwood as discussed in the agenda meeting. I think we have a, a problem with that one. Um, that's, there's been a little bit of debate on what, what to cover with that. The, the problem is, is regardless of, of the assumption of who we're talking about, um, it, he still has member rights, privacy. So our ruling in executive session our hand slapping and executive session is kind of a matter of privacy. I mean, if Jim wants to discuss it, but 
I don't think it's right for us to open up about what was said. Um, I think if you notice on the property itself, a change has been made. Any comments? We're, we're have to proceed with them. No, I think I, that's about it. I think that I, that I right think now. if we're talking about the property, we can probably say that that the changes went through the process of a new permit. It went before the ACC committee. The ACC committee made a ruling on its uh, um, uh, revised plan. The revised plan being being in line with our covenants and conditions and ACC requirements. And so a new permit, it, I believe, was issued in the continuation of the new project uh, with the old project being terminated and revised. Is that? I mean, there was a discussion about whether it to make a motion. I was suggesting I make a motion on the variance at this meeting. But it's a moot case right now because the property has been, been changed. and It's no longer in the setback. Uh, in violation of the setback, so there's nothing, there's no variance. Needed. No, no variance, and there is nothing before this board regarding that project. It was handled with the ACC committee, and we're completely out of it. So uh, that was done um, since Tuesday. The ACC two members only members signed off on the the request. I know one member signed off on it. From what I was told, I have no idea. The other member that was going to yeah. sign off on it was out of town. I believe he was consulted on it. He was consulted on it. But you need that. two signatures to make it happen. So I'm just inquiring that it was two members, not the liaison or the. Um, I mean, at, at this point, I mean, we're it's it's an ACC issue to us because there's no variance for us. But if it's not completely filled out the form, that's what I'm just inquiring. Uh, and that and that's. If the ACC wants to tell us that there is a violation, that we should do a show cause, that we should consider a fine or consider further action. No, all I'm asking uh, is you've at got this point, we're not two there. signatures on that AC application that are not from the board liaison or the chair. Marshall Michael was the first person to go out okay. and look at the project and, and he signed off on it. Okay. And he, he may have brought it back and had a second signature. I can't verify that. I will research that. Thank you. I yeah, appreciate absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Do we have any other member comments? All right. The general manager's report. Sorry, I didn't fill it out. I'd just like to thank the uh, MLCC staff. We. <laughs> Would you like to speak? <laughs> the MLCC staff, um, all of everybody for allowing our, our daughter to have her wedding here. They turned out very good. Appreciate you guys approving it. And it was a really great day. I just want to say thank you to everybody. Yeah, I'm I'm very very glad to Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, I'd like to read in, uh, I hate to go back again, but um, I need to read this APN number in. Um, so I'd like to go back to uh, where we did the approval of the board minutes, we have a correct number. There was a, a typo here. So the correct APN number is 661-260-018. And so what we're saying is an executive session on April 29th, 2023, the board made a motion to approve authorization of the board to record notice of default against APN, once again, 661-260-018, and it was approved 5-0. So I'd like to read that into our minutes. Okay, uh, general manager report. Okay, for the general manager report. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy, uh, or happy Memorial weekend. Um, financial overview this month, April. Um, with another positive financial month for the club. Net profit for the month was $32,568, better than budget. Expenses were below budget by $47,164, and the revenue was under budget by $14,596. On uh, the food and beverage side of things, uh, $2,216, better than budget. 
And at the end of April, for the year to date, we are 70,208 better than last year's totals through April. Wow. Sure. Golf shop uh, was $11,292 below budget. Overall, public play was really dropped. Uh, I think uh, basically when we went to Arabic Greens and people leaving down, but uh, I think the Arabic Greens scared a few people off for a couple of weeks. Uh, general admin uh, was better than budget by $14,042. Golf maintenance better than budget by $24,339. Uh, the clubhouse maintenance right at budget, $11 below budget. Mission Lakes End had a good month last month. Uh, we were $3,788 better than budget. And pool and rec below budget by $535. Uh, and for the most part, we've seen a decrease in the uh, renter passes coming to the pool. So that's that's definitely what we've seen, and we're doing some research on that. Uh, reserves for the month of April, we spent $17,820, and at the end of the month, we had $2,727,790 in the reserves, which $58,839 still owed to reserves from the loan. So we are getting that down. So by next month, or yeah, by the end of next month, we should be pretty clear on that. Mm -hmm. We did receive a check from DWA and Mission uh, Springs Water District for reimbursement for the whole desert scape. That came to about $161,000. Wow. So that's, that's the uh, financial overview. Uh, food and beverage happenings. Thursday nights, we're offering the bistro menu, otherwise known as the bar menu, and continuing the San Asenio, San Asento menu on Fridays and Saturdays with nightly specials. Bistro menu is also available on Saturdays, or excuse me, Fridays and Saturdays. Father's Day brunch, June 18th, with one seating at 11 a.m. That will be a brunch. Uh, bingo night will be on June 21st with two sessions. Karaoke is planned for June 30th. Uh, some of these dates might be pushed to different dates, so just keep, keep your uh, look on the uh, calendar. Um, we're planning on doing some renovations up here, so... We're not sure if we're going to be totally closed or partially closed, so keep an eye on that. Uh, 88 restroom, we are gaining on this. I know each month we talk about this. Uh, still trying to get a confirmation on the date to replace the electrical panel, but the, the fencing and the gates, uh, we got our bids in. We'll be taking those to the finance committee, but uh, we're also looking at doing some of that in-house, so especially the uh, desert scape out in front. Um, but uh, we are getting closer on the ATA restroom, but believe it or not. But uh, but uh, fencing should be starting here soon. And like I said, um, I have been going to their office pushing for this electrical panel. And uh, after next week, I think maybe we'll look at getting some legal input on this. So um, comment cards. I got quite a few this month. Uh, Madison, you are Johnny on the spot. Took our lunch orders and beverage orders right away. Rapid service to a hungry eight women and thirsty group. Good job. <laughs> uh, lunch after golf, May 19th, spinach tortilla tuna salad wrap with a cup of clam chowder. Very delicious. Bistro menu had a salad and ribs. Both were very tasty. Enjoyed homemade chips, perhaps, perhaps added dipping sauce. The chocolate ganache dessert was great and gluten free. Just decided to try the bistro menu and I had fish tacos, very tasty. Started with the side salad and ended with the chocolate ganache. Cinco de Mayo was fabulous. The food was great and, and homemade. The help was exceptional. Everyone seemed to have a good time. I'm so happy to see Don still here and wait staff and servers are helpful. Hats off to the guys in the pro shop, Bobby, Ben, John, led by David. Very professional, polite, and helpful. Lunch after golf. Shrimp avocado salad was delicious. Crisp greens, huge avocado. Good job to the staff, bartenders and waiters. Uh, I experienced a friendly, attentive service after the board meeting. I have a single comment. Why in the club do we serve on plastic plates? This brings down the club. Okay. Can we please get another recumbent bike in the fitness center? While we appreciate the maintenance of the pool area, the blowers on the patio are so loud, we request them to start after classes. I received three, I, I received three more like this. I just thought I'd share. Basically, they were all about the same. So uh, I guess we were blowing during the fitness classes and they couldn't hear me. We are so lucky to have an awesome pro shop team. They are polite and helpful. It, it, 
they rescued me with my golf cart. Henry and David were taking care of a big crowd after the board meeting. Appetizers needed seasoning, onion rings, chicken tenders, and tater tots. And please serve on China. Uh, next one was great steak, great food. Uh, this one came from the car barn. Declan was amazing. My truck had a flat tire. He offered to change my tire for me. That was amazing. Thanks to the staff for cleaning the restrooms on the golf course and co shop cleaning clean with a nice fragrance, pleasing to all. Raphael on hole 11 fence and approach to the green since it's in the blind area from the orange tee, it'd be nice to have the bend fixed in the fence. Two sections are out of whack, north part of the bend needs work. <laughs> so yeah. that is the general manager for you. you know, what, it, what, I, what I noticed about the fence on 11, is when they cut the weeds down, like when they weed whack it, it bends the fence at the bottom up. And so it's I, there's a kind of become a routine now that whenever they do a clearing of the vegetation, the fence gets bent up. Okay. <laughs> well, I make a motion that we accept the general manager's report. Second. I don't think we, we, we usually don't do that, but yeah. that sounds oh. good. Yeah. <laughs> but I like it, Dave. But you did a great job. Yeah. I'll keep practicing. <laughs> All right. Uh, committee reports next. Um, uh, as far as the um, architectural committee, uh, I have Dave. Uh, Dave Stanley is going to present a variant. We're going to try not to do anything new. Um, ACC has given us a request for a variance for a cart shed at 64938 Little Court. And uh, ACC says it fully complies with our CCNRs. So at this time, I'd like to make a motion that we accept and give a variance to 64938 Little Court. So I have a question before we, before we get to that. I would like some discussion. Is there a reason why this can't be attached to the house? It's a standalone cart garage. Correct. You're asking me? I'm, 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 I'm supposed to recuse myself, so. Okay. I'm asking whoever. So who knows about this project? Yep. Who, who's submitting the project? Ken Lemke. Is Ken here? Okay. Jim's doing the work. Yeah, well, I know. But I mean, if I get that lesson. In Jim's defense, in Jim's defense, we had a very strong member who said that he shouldn't even be in the room. Now, I, he obviously is going to recuse himself from the vote, but he said that Jim could not present anything about the plan and he shouldn't even be in the room when it's being presented. I, I think well, I can. That my, that make sense. And my I, I argument can, is, is yeah, that's the guy I can interrogate. I want to ask Jim questions. I want to interrogate him. I want to ask him maybe even hard questions, pointed questions. Isn't that what we all want is information, transparency? I don't understand that, that backlash about trying to send him out of the room. He can't vote on this, obviously, but he can answer a question, can he? Well, I think I can answer this question that, that Heinz raised just looking at the plans here. Uh, if you look at the existing patio cover that they have and you look at the plans for an offsetting this, um, they've got two different style roofs involved. You got you got a basic uh, truss roof on the on the cart shed and you've got a sloping roof that wouldn't lend itself to an addition on the uh, existing patio cover. So I think instead of just trying to extend the patio cover out, it probably wouldn't have been conducive to get his overhead door and would be my guess. That's so that's just that's that's there. I mean, look, I was looking at the plans uh, last night up here and the variance is like six inches, right? Okay. So I was just wondering why we couldn't move it over six inches and he doesn't need a variance. No, the variance is not based on that. I can speak with this. If you're asking a general question. Variance has nothing to do with the setback. That's not what's changing. Any golf cart garage that we build in this community requires a variance. If it's, if it's not attached to the house. If it's attached to the house, then it does not require variance. It would just require a permit from the county of Riverside. 
if it's under 120 square feet, they do not require a building permit and it can be placed within your property. But because it's a golf cart garage, it's only dedicated towards a golf cart garage. It can't be used as a shed, a workshop, a kitchenette, or anything else. It's specifically for a golf cart. This this exceeds the setback requirements by three, three and a half feet, I think, Jaime, because I think we're obligated to six feet on the side, and this one's at nine six. So the only reason so the set, variance setbacks on corner lots are are a little greater, I think. And that's a corner lot there. Yeah. Falls into yes. that. Okay. Or is there a setback requirement yeah, that we're that's not being on this one? I thought that's what I thought, but I don't know what it is. I, I, it well, it actually starts at the patio cover and goes back. So it's not up against the house. Right. It's three feet from the house. See, when we require these plot plans, uh, and I've drawn some up myself, they don't require you to go beyond your property border. Okay, so when they sent them to the ACC committee, unless the ACC committee went out and did a site visit, they wouldn't know necessarily where that setback, if that setback was on a corner lot or not. Right. Because the plot plan requirements that we do as a club don't require to go beyond your property line. I did see them all out there. The whole ACC committee came out there and did a, did a site inspection. He's my neighbor, so I, I watched him do it. So looking at the picture, it, it appears that is a corner lot. I mean, it's not a great picture, but um, there's a bigger one behind you there if you need it. So, does anybody remember offhand? Is it ten feet then if you're on a corner lot from a side lot? Because this house is all the only six. Feet. It is ten feet. So we do have a setback variance. This this six inches is going to be more than just a uh, formality because it's a standalone card shed. It is because we're going to be going six inches closer. Uh, we won't be making the 10 foot. It'd be nine, and, six. And, so I and, guess we don't and mean that. looking, and that's what out, I saw looking okay. at it, you know, looking at the straight line, there's, there's nothing that that six inches does that, that would stand out. There's a wall there and there's a, there's, there's shrubbery in front of the wall. It's, it's not going to affect the sight line from somebody pulling out of a driveway or somebody coming around the corner. You know, it's there's I don't see any harm with six inches. You know, I, I can see a problem with the way we do things. I think the uh, ACC committee should be bringing their findings to the board of directors and saying, look, this is the reason they're getting a variance. It's not just because it's a standalone cart shed, but well, they don't make well, the I 10 foot requirements. Well, the because, ACC liaison would normally do that. I, I, it's yeah, just that yeah. he was asked not to because he's the contractor, mm -hmm. which is, I think that's okay. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not certain the liaison. I mean, in this case, you got a professional liaison, but in the future, does a liaison always know uh, verbatim what our what our setbacks are? I I think just for what it's worth, ACC should bring their findings to us and tell us what we're voting on. I agree. No, I agree too. I, agree. I mean, there has to be somebody knowledgeable on the project to answer our questions. And it, and it should be in writing. What right. that? Yes, it does, should be in writing. So, in discussion, I guess the real discussion is: it, it the variance is is because it doesn't make the setback requirements by six inches. Not being on the golf course, listening to you saying it's not a visual hazard. I guess I don't have a problem. With Mr. Lemke getting this card shed the way he wants it based on that six inches. I agree. So, can we, I, so we need to make a second. Well, I'll make a second. <clears throat> okay. The motion's been made. Okay. All in favor. The motion's been made and seconded. Okay. So you have to turn the thing for right now. Okay. <laughs> So the, the motion has been made and seconded. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Then the motion passes. Okay, moving on. Uh, condominium report. <clears throat> Thank you, Jim. A lot of fun on the architectural committee today. A lot, <laughs> a lot of time spent on six inches, huh? Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, the condominiums, uh, rich tradition here at Mission Lakes Country Club. We'd like to thank this morning Larry and the uh, roving patrol, the uh, citizens on patrol. We really appreciate all the work that you uh, do for the club and us down in the condominiums. And I, I know we haven't said that, but we, but we really appreciate that. So thank you very much. Um, any veterans in the in the room today? Not one. Oh, thank yeah. you very much for your service here. We are on Memorial Weekend, and I think that we should uh, take a minute to thank the veterans. Okay. Not a whole lot to, re to report from the economies in general, other than, you know, we, we, we see a lot of our seasonal residents leaving uh, at this particular time, and, and we are going to continue with a lot of the projects that you've seen happening around you. Uh, water conservation is is part of the aesthetics that you're you're seeing down there, but uh, that's going to continue throughout the summer. And um, I appreciate all the help we're getting from uh, from the board and uh, my friend Eric over there. Thank you for your help, Eric. One one thing, Mike, yes, before sir. you take off, um, we we've had quite a few folks that have uh, uh, complained from the condo uh, about our regular you know the the house members running around and mm -hmm. allowing their dogs to yeah. go on on property uh -huh. um i i really think that somehow something needs to be written up that we can actually send out and i'm, I'm going to do that uh, as a special deal explaining that yes everybody pays the same dues for our amenities mm -hmm. you have a second association that affords your pool and your grounds, mm -hmm. which are private. So, I mean, they belong to you guys, not for our use, just like our private residences are ours. Unfortunately, we do have some of our members in the, in the, the single family homes that feel that they can take their dogs down in the condominium uh, development and relieve their animals on their, their turf. And um, that would be the same as if People came and just did it on my turf, and I wouldn't be too happy about it. So um, I think we just need to, to put something out. You know, I, I think a lot of this stems from the fact that this has been a uh, traditional thing for a long time. Uh, the condos are an actual private community. We mm -hmm. have our own CCNRs and our own bylaws and what have you to govern that. We have enough signs. Nobody wants 100 signs right out there, and mm -hmm. we aren't gated. Uh, necessarily, but we, we want to be good neighbors and we want to be club <laughs> members and what have you. Nobody wants to not be a good neighbor let's put it right. that way so yeah i just think we try to go along to get along but you know yeah. any help you can give us we appreciate that yeah i just think just, can i ask a question you know we've got a huge vacuum for the dog owners here right now and i mean it's it's really a health risk for these dogs trying to walk these dogs in the summertime right. and and we're, we're talking about a dog park but we haven't built one yet would your association be conducive to the idea of having a permit you know that people could buy to be able to use the grass area down there like, like condo owners do and maybe use a permit system like what we're going to do when we finally have a dog park because boy there's these four dogs uh yeah i don't i don't envy first of all i'm a dog owner dog lover my charity is uh loving all animals okay so nobody loves animals as much or more than i do it's close but uh legally i'm not allowed to say yes to that uh, we're open to anything, but again, like I just said, that's a private community that's governed by their own CCNRs and bylaws. If I were to say yes to that, I would be letting people trespass onto our property for that. You, you could bring it to a vote, though, if you wanted to. Uh, no, I yeah, couldn't. Uh, I, I would have to let our owners do that, and and that would that would it, it sounds simple, but we would have to change our governing documents to do that. What I would what I would suggest is we find a plot. Up here, we got to have grass up here somewhere in the club. It's, it's in the process. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah, we 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 would love to be part. But there's of that. a vacuum right now. Uh huh. Uh huh. And and again, there's nothing I I would love to have all the animals be happy and and have a great place. So we do anything we can to help out. <laughs> I have a question for Mike. Sure, Mike. Uh, you uh, the condos has a volunteer to have an office area for the highway patrol. Sure. Uh, down sure. There, we, would, we would love to uh, to create that. We have it available. Uh, is it is it uh, available now? Is it available? We have desks and coffee pot and everything ready for okay. you guys. All right. 
So it's, it's available. Okay, yep. thanks. Yeah, that's that's good for the next time we see uh, your officer when she comes in. No, we'll let her know. Yeah, we've mentioned it a few times, but you yeah, know, just reaching out to the right person. That, exactly. Okay, finance. Uh, finance credit report. Right. <clears throat> I'd like to make a motion to approve checks over $1,000 from operations for April 2023. Mm -hmm. All second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. I'd like to make a motion to approve checks over $1,000 from reserve accounts for April 2023. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. And I'd like to approve the finance and credit reports for April, a uh, motion to approve the finance and credit reports for April 2023. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. We have uh, three RC, RFCAs. Um, I'd like to make a motion to Consider RFCA 865805 from Clubhouse Maintenance in the amount of $4,100 from reserves to replace the AC heat pump number uh, four ton unit and the gym and multi purpose room that needed to be replaced. Uh, I guess this work's already been completed. Uh, vendor is Quality Care Services. Second. All second. All in favor? In the discussion. No, do we have any? Yeah, I think so. No, I need details on that. Okay. I'd like to make a motion to consider RFCA 861305 from Clubhouse Maintenance and the amount of $9,774.37 from reserves to purchase flooring to restore and replace final flooring in the lakes room, hallways, entry into the club. The vendor is Bill Direct. A second. Do we have any discussion? Yeah, I got one question, Jim. Okay. Uh, that also includes the, the room we're in now, correct? Yes, that's the lakes room all okay. the way through. All right. Thank you. You got it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. All right. I'd like to make a motion to consider RFCA 86005 from Clubhouse Maintenance and the amount not to exceed $105,000 from reserves to replace and install uh, the three high delta pool boilers. Um, vendor is Ocean Springs Tech. We have a second. 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 Discussion. Yeah, we do need a little bit of discussion. Okay, so this is uh, this this bid is the reason we bid not to exceed is because the actual bid is substantially less. And we wanted, uh, we're going to need, we know that we're going to need work done in excess of what the bid they gave us. Mm -hmm. the, get, the bid they gave us, you know, said, okay, if we, we we're going to try to use the original, the, the, uh, the existing exhaust. And if you need no exhaust, it's going to be like $500 a piece for each one. Of these. We're going to try to use as much of the plumbing and stuff as we can, but it'll, we'll charge for materials. Uh, during the install, if we need more than that stuff, stuff we can't say. And and our look at that is, um, we don't want to to go small on the install. We don't want to cut corners on the install. So we put in a buffer on their bid, and wanted to bring them back and say, okay, we we would like to replace this. We'd like to reroute it. We'd like to try to clean up the flow issues you know, less 90s and all that. When you say we, are you talking about the finance committee? Well, no, I'm talking about the club. Okay. Yeah. So we're just, we gave overhead in this to, it was, that was Phil Anderson's idea to give some overhead so that we have room to do this project. And it's a great idea. And I just want to- and, and the reason for not fleshing it out more, because it would have been better to have a fleshed out bid in this process, is that- we were warned by was it Raypack? We were warned by Raypack that that their system right now is ten to twelve weeks in delivery. So we wanted to order these things now. Get them on the way. Um, I know I brought up some concerns before, and Mr. Baxter and I have talked about it, and 
and uh, our general manager and some of the others that met down there had concerns about the footprint. I know uh, Eric has, has relieved some of our concerns just based on your conversation with Ocean Springs. Am I saying the right contractor's name? Mm -hmm. uh, local contractor. We, you know, Jaime and I met with Eric today. I know you met with Mr. Baxter this week. I personally am comfortable with the fact that the footprint of our existing business building is going to work. It's going to work. And, and essentially, they're going to be able to clean up the, the piping in there and get the mechanical room to where it should be. So we're, we're getting a lot more than just those three ray pack uh, boilers. And we're, we're going to get a top notch uh, system put in place within the footprint we already have. So I guess I would just take any of my concerns off the table just based on a conversation with it. Yeah, it, it, and Eric took me down there and we walked through it completely. Mm -hmm. And if if we do need to deal, the basic structure is a block wall structure and, and the way it's set in, it, it would be it would be a little bit of a project to expand the footprint. That would be more difficult. But the parts that are in very in disrepair are the roof and the wall, the wood wall gates, the doors to it. That can all be replaced after the install. Mm -hmm. and that's something we can replace at any time and, and not affect the install. No, I'm, I'm just gonna make a comment that, you know, the other bit we got um, was, you know, you know, we went up to 105,000 for the incidentals kind of thing. The other thing we're looking at is redoing all the piping. Like I said, and it might increase. I'll make a different RFCA once I get talking to everybody else. It's, it really is a spaghetti factory in there. And we really just got to really get this to where it uh, gives us the maximum flow for these heaters and everything working, you know, together. So, to, so that's what we're looking at. To give the membership an idea, if you've never been in that mechanical room, what the problem is that we have is everything is so tight. There's so many 90s, you can't walk through there. The broken pipe that we all heard about a couple of weeks ago was incidental damage, it looks like, to just egress going in and out of the building to try and work on what we got there. So this new contractor has suggested, now it's we haven't landed on them yet because you're still getting the yeah. bids, but they've suggested getting a lot of this off the floor, getting it on our existing walls, running it across our ceiling, and really cleaning up the thing so we're not gonna have this. I mean, it, it just looked like it was built as it went. And, I, and honestly, I think you're gonna have a really, really good mechanical room when you get done. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, vote on this. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Okay. All right, next up is golf committee. I just want, before we move off finance, I just wanted to just give everybody a heads up. Um, you, you may be aware that the AC failed uh, in the pro shop, right? So we're, we're, we've got two bids, I believe, and there's a third, third bid coming. They're looking in Friday. Yeah. So I, I anticipate that we'll be making a 72 hour notice on a, a special kind of finance meeting, board meeting for the sole purpose of approving that so we can get it. It's gonna be probably what, $17,000, $18,000, I think. Definitely no. $17,000. Oh, it's enough of a, it's a, it's a big enough thing from reserves, I'm assuming, that we need to go through that full process with an RFCA. How close did we but make we it? Don't want to, we don't want to delay on those guys. I was, mm -hmm. I've seen them on hot days. All the all our pro shop staff is sweating. You know, it's it's that's how, how close did we make it to our our reserve plan? No, so it, it, it was it was, good good it was uh, uh, back last year. We presented yeah. it to the finance committee, and it was denied on the fact that they wanted to look at different things in there. But now, right. the system went out on us. So actually, saw it. Right oh, was right yeah, yeah. The yeah, we were actually warned a, a year prior by James. So you'll it probably see a seventy-two hour notice go up. And we'll just try to get a quorum of, that, of finance people and, and board members and, uh, and to get that approved. Yeah. Okay. Shelly. Yeah. Oh, I'm not, <laughs> Larry, I'm not there yet. Okay. First of all, I want to congratulate the big winners of the cross country tournament, which was held May 13th. <laughs> I'm not going to mention your name, Steve. 
But Peggy yeah. Baxter, Chris Neal, and your wife Stacy did a really good job of being the overall grand winner. So congrats to all the five And trust winners. me, it was mainly because of Peggy. Okay. Congrats to all the five winners and those who toured our course playing holes we never knew existed. June 10th will be our part three tournament. The format is yet to be determined and more information will be coming soon. I'll be meeting with Julian and David this upcoming week and we haven't decided how we're ABCD, pairs, whatever. We're still in the process of looking at how to do that. Um, we would also like to give kudos to our golf and our golf maintenance staff. As Caddyshack's Carl Spackler said to the Dalai Lama, Hey, Lama, how about a little something, you know, for the effort? In our small little world here at MLCC, words spread quickly. We know that. Saying thanks to our golf staff and maintenance crew now and then makes a world of difference to these men and women. We truly do have a very special staff here. So next time you're in the golf shop or see a crew member out mowing the fairway, give them a high five and a thank you. So... I'm, it's really important that we do that. Um, the more, I mean, I heard Ms., um, a couple of you say, and um, you guys back there with the big wedding party, you know, the staff does need to hear that now and then. Um, and it's important that they do. And I wanna also say uh, the one person that we did forget to mention earlier is Roxy that's down there in the golf shop. She is really a quick learner, um, switching things on the computer for Chelsea and whatnot. So make sure you say something to her too. I think she's doing a great job. And it's nice to have a woman down there too that kind of knows the clothing a little better than some of the men. So um, one of the things that a couple of us on the golf committee have been discussing, and I know this probably goes back to the green committee and your rep, um, that I never noticed it until the other night. We were at some friend's house on the number two um, gold tea box for a nice little dinner. And the neighbors there that were invited turned around and said, take a look at the little homeless encampment. And I said, what? We have homeless living there? And they said, no, look at the pump house with the plywood. It, it's not a good look when you turn around and look and the people that lived around the lake. So I would encourage that we do spend a little bit of that reserve money to actually build a really nice looking pump house that actually is enclosed and with a real door and not that beautiful plywood. So next time you're on the number two tee box, just turn around and look at that. It does, it's an eyesore. So I'm just letting you know that's what we're talking about. And we'd like to bring that to the green committee, Jack. Yeah, I know. And the board. Thank you. Good job, Shelly. Thank you. All right, uh, Jack Peterson. He, oh, before we, as, you're, as Jack's walking up uh, with the golf uh, report, uh, remember the Folds of Honor? We're having the Folds of Honor tournament on Monday. But there is a box in the pro shop right now for the Folds of Honor where you can make uh, donations. I just saw Tim Hagen drop off a nice check in there. It's just, you know, our members support so many different, you know, charity works and, and good projects. And it's just, there's another one there that this weekend I'd like our, our club to, to represent. We had as of last Monday, 64 signed up. We have more than that. So it's going to be a great tournament uh, on Monday. And a great luncheon if you sign up with the dining room reservations. It's separate from the tournament. So if you want to eat afterwards, you sign up with loose or dining room reservations back on. We've had our uh, two meetings now this term. Our main goal is going to be low cost, high impact projects that we can uh, get across the finish line. Um, two of them that are ongoing from the last couple committees is the uh, Bermuda grass recovery that the in-house staff is doing. So we're supporting them on that. The other is the turf removal. Like we've done the desert scape around one through 18. Um, we're gonna work with Eric and the agencies to pick four more spots. And as that develops, you guys will see that and we'll see how, how that goes. Um, we are lucky to have returning members, which is always a good thing for a committee because the continuity stays there throughout. 
to uh, address Shelley's deal. It's still on our agenda, but it has been tabled because of the discussions around building to building to building, and it just keeps getting bigger. We realize it's an eyesore, but we're attempting to actually take care of the sound while we build something in there. So what's there now is kind of uh, a try to see what would work with the sound. That's why the material looks different, but we were not going to leave that that way. But again, that's tabled until um, further notice till we do some other discussions. Other than that, that's really about it. All right. Uh, next up is House Committee. Uh, that would be Wendy Scott. I don't have a lot to report today, but we do have um, the flooring that was approved. This is the flooring that will be in the um, entryway, the hallways, and in this room. There is an underlayment that goes underneath this to reduce the sound. <laughs> um, we're looking at recarpeting all of the offices, and that will continue with the same carpeting that we have running down the stairs and in the entryway downstairs in front of the gym. So this is the carpeting sample. All of these things are in Eric's office. If you'd like to take a closer look, we're also going to be looking at replacing these ceiling tiles with a tile that is has a higher number to reduce the sound. So we're looking for um, tiles that are less conspicuous as far as the features, but that also are high in um, efficiency with uh, our ratings for flame and, and those kinds of things, but then also to reduce the sounds. Those are the things that we're working on right now. Our next meeting is June 7th. Thank you very much. No questions, no answers. The sample there of the paint for the room? Oh, yes. Are we going to do the beams too? Yes. At this time, it is scheduled to redo the beams because the interior decorator felt that we don't want to attract people looking up at our ugly ceiling. We are trying to address that and then we possibly grow um paint those i don't know that's future um the thing with the the painting was supposed to be done the first of may and that got kicked back because somebody got married <laughs> you thank you for that <laughs> and um and then it didn't get kicked up afterwards we were uh trying to get uh some of the work done in-house and that's now being put up to bid for uh, outside help. It, it's already been approved. So we're just waiting for him. We pushed him off waiting for him to come in to do it. Okay. Yeah, so you're probably, so there, yeah, there they're already there. They're patient <laughs> and putting our FCAs together to be approved by the board. That's but right. um, our selection process in that has been <clears throat> Now we're just looking at the, the ceiling and trying to see what we can do with that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, next up is uh, member communications. Uh, Sam. Yes. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you all for being here this afternoon. I I apologize for not being there. I'm a little under the weather, but we had our meeting, and uh, a couple of things of note. Um, weather underground, which we have here on Mission Lakes property, is now. Uh, uh, on the website, and it's also on our on our app. So you'll get up-to-date weather, wind conditions, et cetera, uh, on a weather station that is on our property. Um, the MLCC messenger newsletter, um, we had that, we had that uh, uh, on everybody, uh, public and private. Uh, it's now been moved to our private section. Uh, it's, it's taken off the public, um, meaning uh, financials, that type of thing. Uh, public will not be able to see that. It'll just be for our community. Um, we also added uh, on the website uh, a version of the comment card. Uh, that's, been, uh, that's been available under the uh, contact us tab. 
And these are sent directly to our general manager, Mr. Eric Charles, and uh, for him to follow up on. So somebody that wants to be a little anonymous and, and just send a comment in, they're more than welcome to off our website. Uh, Peggy, to answer your question, we're working on uh, we're working on the uh, board minutes to be uh, put on uh, the the website. Um, we're a little slow on that. I apologize, but we will get there. Uh, the minutes from all of the all of the uh, 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 committees uh, are on there, and we will try to update those as fast as we can. Um, we sent out uh, member update forms to our community, um, what they're interested in, uh, uh, new uh, 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 website, uh, uh, not website, but new uh, email addresses, et cetera. Um, we have approximately got a third of them back. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing. You can't believe how many new members we have in this club. Uh, it's something to look at. Uh, we will try to send more out and get everybody updated as fast as we can. Um, so take a few minutes to look on the member member central and the and the board and committees uh, for updates on minutes, et cetera. Uh, we're also working on a plan to to for the board to get together with all of the committee board or all the committee uh, chairmen uh, so we can try to streamline things to get onto our website faster. Uh, that'll help our community and as a whole. Uh, last thing I'd like to I'd like to bring up and and uh, I'd like to make a motion uh, to welcome Mr. Walt Dwyer uh, to our our member communications committee as a voting member. Uh, that's my motion for the board. Um, he's he's in the uh, he's in the uh, uh, condominium association right now, and I think it's an important important step that we in, integrate uh, our condominium association with our club as a whole. So uh, I, I my recommendation is uh, Mr. Uh, Walt Dwyer. Uh, to become a member of member communications as a voting member. I'll gladly second that, Sam. Thank you very much. Um, any Paul discussion? Paul Baber. Aye. 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 Okay. Welcome. Congratulations, Walt. Walt. And that's my report for today. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we got Larry. Okay, Larry. Very brief. <laughs> okay. We had our meeting back on May 9th. Uh, we had a pretty light uh, month because our patrol car was in that support garage for longer than we wanted. Anyway, we only <laughs> patrolled like 400 miles. Uh, and the volunteer hours were like 96. We had eight persons uh, patrolling. Uh, our total total miles have driven that we since we started our cops program in 2012, which is 11 years ago now, is we did 107,655 miles in our area here oh. since we started. Uh, some of the things that were brought up in there by the uh, our sheriff uh, report: uh, several vehicles were broken into, some were left unlocked, and. Yeah, the, the biggest thing that uh, was reported that a cell phone was taken. So most of it is very minor things, but still people are leaving their vehicles unlocked and leaving things in there that they uh, are uh, attracting, you know, the, the thieves. Uh, there were several disturbance noise calls throughout our communities for the month of April. Um, there was a uh, Adult man driving around, exposing himself in his car. Uh, At least he was in the corner. And, uh, yeah. Do you, have, do you have any identifying description of the guy? <laughs> <laughs> I think the gentleman was black, and uh, he was stopping his car alongside, you know, people and exposing himself. Well, there you go. It was it was a younger man with dreadlocks, apparently. Yeah. Okay. You can add to it. 
It was suggested by by one of our members that uh, we uh, e blast our incident reports monthly, and I guess we can look at that. Uh, remind remind members not to leave their valuables in their cars, and, you know, and, and that's what they look for. They look for anything that might be some value. And I heard um, just over here uh, somebody had their uh, compressor stolen out of the back of their truck. <laughs> uh, you can't do that. You can't leave your thing valuables like that. That's that's what they're looking for. So we had a couple of uh, five-year uh, pin uh, that I gave out. Uh, I gave one to Tom Nero. He's uh, he lives right here on like uh, that on Augusta. Anyway, and then uh, Barry Ayers, he's a snowbird. When he comes back in October, we'll give him his five-year pin too. Uh, Tom, Tom, and I in our control car with the rodents and the pairs of the rodents are are stuck coming back again. He sprays our patrol car at least twice a month with the special spray. But uh, not only that are they here, but they were down in uh, over in Troon Court, you know, several months ago. But it's not just because it's around here. So keep an eye on your vehicles. They like that nesting. And Steve had an experience <clears throat> at a cost of uh, several hundred dollars. Thousand, five thousand? Five thousand dollars to get the road. And so it can happen. Don't drive an Italian car. <laughs> uh, anyone interested in our cop program? We're going to be a, there'll be a training program in September at the uh, Palm Springs uh, Police Station. And please see me if you'd like to be uh, involved with our program. We definitely need uh, more. We only have like 13, 13 people. We originally were up to 26, and it's dwindling and dwindling. And we just lost one of our members. Uh, Hubert Kohler, probably a lot of you don't know him because he he was not a golfer, but he was he was one of our original uh, COP guys uh, back in 2012, and he just passed away this past week of cancer. Mm. Anyway, uh, we definitely need more people for for patrolling. Uh, we're going to be upgrading our CPR training class um, back uh, starting in October, November. Uh, and anybody that really want to be interested in that could come and uh, I'll be talking about that later on. Uh, and we're going to probably do it like October, November. And from the sheriff department, they're going to come here and, and do the uh, training class here at our facility. So we're good. And I think I talked to Mike about um, there's a station going to be at the condos for the sheriff, the highway patrol. Where they can come and uh, do their bookwork, paperwork, and write the reports. So uh, we just got to get them uh, more involved now that it's available. So, anyway, just a little more information. Uh, this is, oh, yeah, Eric had talked about uh, some stripes being painted. Can you hit on that a little bit there, Eric? The stripes that were going to be painted on the roads. I, I think they did a few out there, but not. He, the, he was going to put uh, uh, traffic strips too as well. So we're in talks with them. They just haven't had the county hasn't had time to come out and do it. All right. The, 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 the strips are just going to basically tell when you drive over them how fast you're going, and so to try to get an idea of where our issues are, which yeah. I think we already know. Yeah. 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 Our, our home march forms that are be, that are available to, for uh, everybody that's going on vacation, leaving for a few days. Uh, it's very lax. I mean, I have 19 snowbird turned in for the whole you know uh, summer, and that's pretty small count for as many snowbirds we have. So people are just not filling them out and. and we, we have that information. We have a a, a sheet, and I, I'll just we have a report that we keep in the uh, in a patrol car of who's gone and when they're going to be back, and that. And it's very important um, for all of us that we, we fill that out because uh, we can keep an eye on it. We see something going on in the, at somebody's place when they're they're gone, and we know they're going to be gone for a month or two months or a week or whatever. I don't know how we can express that. We send out blasts and remind people 
you know, that uh, you fill out your vacation request or, you know, when you're going to be gone. Okay. <laughs> is that available online? Is that available online? I don't think so. No. They're just in the outside box over here. Uh, seems like the garage doors, I mean, we haven't had as many as we've been, you know, people are closing their garage doors. That's always been an issue. So, um, uh, our next meeting is not going to be now until September. It's going to be uh, off. We're not having meetings for the next months. Yeah, it's pretty much on that. I, I do want to make one comment about uh, back over here on Cascade and Little Morongo. Uh, we had a, and I used to go out that way a lot. And there's palm trees are sticking out, and it's really um, cause for an accident to happen. And I, I mentioned it to Eric, and he said I was just going down that way. He says I'll grab my clippers. <laughs> I'll be dang, we didn't go out there and clip them things. And I'll tell you what, it, it, he made it a nice, nice opening, so it's safe now to pull out. You know, we've had other people, um, some of the other side streets got. They couldn't see and they got hit, you know. Anyway, I want to thank Eric. I think it was really, really good. Really, really. <laughs> and one last thing pickleball. Pickleball now is scheduled for Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and Saturdays at 6 30. No more afternoons till after the heat. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you did, but it's okay. All right, any Baxter? So I'll do my first part, and then we can do the, the new motion. The motion yeah. for the members. Operate these things for a while. Uh, okay. Um, one of the things that the Pool and Rec Committee has done to try to gather information from all the members that, that want to bring ideas is that we do a storyboard session at the beginning of each term to try to involve each member as well as come up with new ideas on what we can present to the membership and what, you know, some of the things they'd like to do. And so so we put them on a flip chart and we just throw ideas out. In this past meeting, we probably came up with 15 or 20 topics that we'll be working on through June and July. But some to note is uh, bocce ball, corn pool tournaments, a children's playground, which is kind of a stretch, but it's something I know a number of members would like to see. Water, water volleyball or health fair, swimming lessons, portable fire pits in the 4th of July cart parade, which uh, we're gonna come to Eric to help do that cart parade this year because we don't have any volunteers that are gonna take that up. And uh, I'm out of the out of the state for the month. Um, Miss Annie Hester, one of our members is gonna be the acting chairperson uh, during June. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so that's that part. Um, and I was gonna talk about the the, the heaters, but Eric has covered that, the board has covered that, and I do know what we're faced with in that in that building, because we've been faced with that for a long time, as long as I've been a part of the pool and rec. It's been there, so I'm glad that we're taking some action with those heaters, and more importantly, that we're going to get something done with the, the piping system, because unless you've been in there, I mean, it's a hazard just to try to step into the building. Mm -hmm. And so, and, and I think they'll fix it with a new plan that they have. So that's that's very good. I'm glad, thank you. Um, I was gonna talk a little bit about the ADA restroom, but I've probably talked enough about that. Yeah, uh, thank you. <laughs> I will say this though, because I have experienced a number of problems with Riverside County. So when the board and Eric talk about some of the things that they've run into with this, I mean, it's the real deal. I mean, it's like next week, next year, next sometime, but never tomorrow. So we have a challenge just getting those those permits done and allow us to put in that electrical so that we can move forward with the fencing and the gating and then that thing will be done because it's sat there for a while, completed. We just have to finalize it. And it's not because they're not doing the job. Uh, one last thing. 
is that we're having the 4th of July car parade is on the calendar. And I encourage you all the members that you decorate your carts and participate in this very cool event. Eric and his staff is gonna take on this event this year and uh, manage it. So we'll have some things that are gonna be coming up later about how to sign up and participate in your favorite colors. Okay, that's about it for, for pool and rec. And then you'll do the, the uh, Yes, we have two new committee members to the pool and rec, and I make a motion that they be approved. Their name is Sandra Popescu and Madeline Lake. I second. Do we need any discussion? Okay, All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Okay. Okay. They're new members. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Future planning. Uh, I'm going to read uh, uh, Phil's report. And first of all, I just like Phil, I know you're watching up here in the Arctic, and I'm going to get my tang tangled, and I apologize for that, but I'm just going to read this. Um, uh, we had a, a meeting on May the 2nd. Uh, we've received one proposal to perform a structural evaluation of the clubhouse in the amount of $11,750. It was decided to allow an additional 10 days in hopes that we received some additional proposals that we were waiting for and they hadn't come in yet. Uh, all committee members have agreed that such an evaluation must be performed before we can move forward with any discussion on improvements to the clubhouse. It was agreed that such a document would become the cornerstone for all future clubhouse projects. Uh, considerable time was spent discussing the committee, the committee's charter responsibility, reserve funding, and when it's appropriate to use such funding. Project funding is being discussed by all committees, and our current reserve funding level cannot cover all the requests. Recommendations have been made to the board to fund only must-need projects until the time the reserves are built up to the help to a healthy level. Pool heater replacement is the only must do project in this committee's opinion. Uh, two other projects are being vetted, and that would be the front uh, art, art handicap and short term parking area out in front, and uh, perhaps building a handicap ramp in the pool to replace the, uh, the elevator that's never working, it seems like. So that is. Uh, uh, Phil's report for the month of May. Okay. All right. We have um, no old or new business. Uh, we do have, uh, do we have any lean length? Of anything? Not for open session. Not for open session. Okay. Well, then uh, I'll pick a number. Uh, lucky number 13. And then we'll adjourn the meeting. Thank you, motion to adjourn the meeting. 13th Wasn't so lucky. People are being stealthy. Oh. Uh -huh, there you go. So you should have picked 13. Another one. Uh, number three. Wendy Scott. There you go. Oh. Meeting adjourned. What's going on with the dartboards up here in this? Can this sign? And then make a little auto. I think they, if we had a bar there last night, they just put it There you just, go. Oh, we have a in the corner for karaoke. Oh, oh. 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 Okay, I feel like it's over there. Oh. Oh. I mean, we're not going to throw darts in.